that's not me. It says, it says yes on bag. So it's, it's literally making it go off my hand. Is there anybody here with us? Oh! Is there anyone over there? Dude, there was a shadow. Oh, look. This was shut when we came in. Yeah. Rose, can you please touch the barrier? I heard walking in there. Oh my god, come look at this guy. Attacking. You guys do that? Yeah. 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 Did you both do that? Y'all yeah. heard that? Look how hard it shook. Stanwood Saloon, Stanwood, Washington. Following the fires of 1892 that incinerated a majority of Stanwood, the building opened in 1894. And just like any other building with an extensive history, it's had its fair share of tragedy. Whether patrons have passed by natural causes or by another's hand, some have lingered to this day. Many of the guests and employees have reported seeing apparitions wearing Victorian aged clothing, feeling something unseen touch them, and objects moving on their own. A place that I've personally sought since my interest in the paranormal. With this opportunity granted, our team along with one of the bar's employees, Shanna, began our investigation to gather evidence that would confirm these rumors. So what we can do right now is we can start walking around. And if you feel like you there's something around us, let okay. us know. Okay. And then we can start setting up like more of our equipment, like REM pods and whatever uh, in that area. So I'll probably leave this here all night. So basically how this works is that if anything were to go near it, mm -hmm. it'll just go off. You can see my, my EMF is going off and I've noticed that when I put my EMF closer, like within like a one foot radius of the electrical panel, it'll go off. Right. So something like this right here is abnormal. And especially when it kind of flickers like that, mm -hmm. it's, it's not something electrical or anything interfering with it, like electrical wise, because when it goes off, through like electricity, it'll look like that consistently. Okay. But if I can get like little spikes here and there, and then nothing, if I were to like keep it close and like little spikes would happen, that means that something's interfering with it. Okay. Well, actually I'm curious about behind the bar. So let's mm -hmm. head this way. So how does, so that kind of makes me feel like That little spike that I had right there kind of makes me feel like that something electrical was interfering with it. But now that I'm not actually seeing any sort of consistent spike like I did with that panel, kind of makes me think otherwise. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're seeing something here or you're sensing something here, mm -hmm. kind of, and I'm having my EMF go off like this, kind of makes me feel like there is something here. That will probably make itself uh, shown at some point, I'm sure. I just said no with a mag. If I were to make it go off, it'd say tap. And it's, oh, and I see. It's, and it says mag. Okay. That. EMF was kind of going on up in there and spikes, but my heart rate started going up as soon as that started going up. <laughs> well, my EMF is my hand as well, and it's it's going crazy right now. We're gonna step away now. Again, feel free to communicate. That's not me. 
it says, it says yes on mag. So it's, it's literally making it go off in my hand. My EMF's going crazy too. You feel anything? Right here. Right here? Right next to me? Yeah. Are we okay? Ooh. They just said no. My EMF's going crazy too. No, what? Are we okay to be here tonight? I know somebody is behind me. Is there two of you here? One of you is making the device in my hand go off, and one of you is making that device behind me go off. Can you tell us your names? Something was interacting with that in my hands and right. making that go off. So that's not going to be one thing. That's going to be multiple. So. Alright, I'll tell you what. I won't make you close the door. But if you can make that ball on the ground next to the door move. We would also love that. It has some nice colors. Says yes. Yes. We would love if you can move that ball. All you have to do is just give it a tap. It doesn't take a lot. But we would love to see it. Can you give that ball a tap? This is why backups are ah. important. No. What are you feeling over there? Anything? Nothing. Because when I, when I left out of the women's room, my recording froze, like died. So I would assume it would pick her up. Yep, there she is. Look like I'm doing a Nirvana cut. It's it's at the stall yeah, next just to you. Do this for now. Yeah. Yours. Just record so that way it'll stay. Yeah, it's my it's in the next stall. This one? That's where it is. Yeah. Oh yep, there it is. Right in front of you. Right in the stall. Give him a high five. High five man. Oh, he didn't want it. He did well. Oh, it's back man. What was that? On the on the wall? Right here? Yeah. There's two, oh, no, they're on both sides of you. Uh, pad a cake, pad a cake. I don't know why. Is it picking up me? It's picking up yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but like, it literally looks like it's splattered on the wall. It might be. Whenever it picks something up, that's like not, that's like Isn't not this actually there. The stage, whatever it used to be too. You see, oh, how, you see how Austin's, okay. yeah, you see how Austin's is very static. Whenever it picks something up, that's like not, a person, it like jumps around like yeah, that. Yeah, it likes to move a lot. Okay. So it's picking you up and you're- Yeah, clear as day. And it, it looks like there's something there that's also trying to get be picked up. Cause it's like, almost like your lines are going, are like, to, it. Are going to it. Is it 
somehow picking up a reflection, there's like no, the heat roof, but that wouldn't make sense either. Yeah, there's no way. If it's all. No, it's, it's just picking up. See, it's, it's so weird because I think, oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. So it tried to pick up you and it at the same time. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, see, as soon as you start walking. Yep, oh, there's two. Okay, so there's you. Yep. And then that's that, weird. That's, that's, weird. Weird. that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Oh. You so, feeling anything in there? <laughs> so do when you, you want, when you, you went, know? yeah, do you, do, do you, you want to know? Do you really want to know? <laughs> oh my God, are they surrounding me? No, well, no, but when it doesn't you, look healthy. When you walked, like what? <laughs> when you walked behind the stall uh -huh. wall, it almost like your, your stick figure shape stayed there. Like balled up on the wall, but then it looked like it was. Like yeah. as soon as you disappeared behind, almost like your Going to use the toilet. It like, oh. Oh. Yeah, it's, oh. It's, it's like stays there. That's weird, whoa. There's one humping the wall up. Oh, that's feels, a tall one. It feels really weird in here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there's there's one on the wall with the door, and then there's one that's been jumping around on the stall Outside. wall. Yeah, the stall wall. So there's two, and there you are. There you are. And then when you disappear, it it like almost looks like it like jumps off of you. Yeah, it does. If that makes so sense. It's on me. Yes. It could be. Could be. It's and then like you're. And now it's okay, completely gone. Now, yeah, now they're both gone. It's not showing. So let's let's try the women's. I wanna now let's try out here and let's come back and see if we can recreate it because that's gonna be the little test. That's not bad. Let's see. Cause right here, I picked something up the first time I was here, and this likes to it likes to kill my camera in, in here. Yeah, this is where I started losing a lot of battery. So. Um I don't know if it was trying to make that door into a person, but that yeah. It popped up like on the back side of that door. Maybe open that door up all the way. Which one is it? Yeah. Oh, sitting on the toilet. Like literally, I'm not even joking. It's literally sitting on I'm the toilet. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's, it's, lit it's really? literally, it was literally on the toilet. Ready to try again, see what's that. Now it's gone. I'm like not, I'm not even joking. <gasps> no, oh, oh, no, come back. I was trying to see if opening the door does anything. Oh, yep. He's sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Come here. Hey. Sorry. Um. Um. What else is it? Well, it's already out there. I'm recording, so yeah. I'm gonna stop recording now. So sorry, man. Thing. It. What? What's your name? It, it, it's that. gone. You scared. You scared, you scared it off. <laughs> Let's do that. Right. Let's do a sweep of the rest of. We will uh, leave you to your business. Okay. Yeah, I got it. There you go. There we go. <laughs> so I want to see what other, if we pick up any other anomalies on So at this point in the night, there's plenty of signs that tells us that something is there. There's our equipment going off, the cat ball going off on its own, Shanda's feeling some sort of presence around us. So that kind of kept us on edge, gave us a little bit, a little bit of anxiety as most haunted places do when we first get signs of a presence being there. But then that, that that little bit of fear and that little bit of anxiety and that edge immediately disappears when we capture footage of a, go a ghost on the toilet. <laughs> I don't know. There was just something about SLS footage of a ghost on the toilet that just alleviates all fear and anxiety we had the rest of the night. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I recorded that last video about me talking about the ghost on the toilet and I thought I was over it but then when I was reviewing footage I noticed that my camera had stopped recording or froze recording or whatever it did which was really weird as my camera was pointing at that very toilet and I fully believe that toilet is haunted that one particular toilet because it's not just a coincidence that my camera stops recording <laughs> as it's pointing at the toilet. And then just moments later, our SLS camera captures a figure on the toilet. That is, that, that's too much of a coincidence. So I fully believe that that toilet in that place is haunted. Not really, I mean, I'm, I'm kidding. 
kind of. It's just <laughs> there's too many coincidences happens on these on these hauntings to where we kind of have to tell ourselves, is it really a coincidence, <laughs> or or is that just the case? I don't know. Let me know what you think. How about that? Because I can't make a decision myself. Oh. No. <laughs> no to what? Where are you? Do you not want to tell us? Oh, I just went off by itself. The cat ball? Yeah. Oh. Yeah? No. Did you make that cat ball just go off? Oh, it's going off again. Yeah. I, I was not moving. I, know. I was no, not moving. Can you make it roll? Roll to, can you make yeah. it roll to where you are at currently? You're, get, you're getting there. Can you make it roll this way? Just give it a nice push. Just a little more you're, effort than you've been doing. You're, you're getting there, I know you're trying. You're getting there, you're getting close. Just one big push toward us. I just, even if it just tilts, just a little bit like it's going. I mean, even just, just going off, switch. even just going off the way it is. Yeah. There's no, we're not even walking. And it went off like three times, three, four times now. Oh, I, I did not get close to that. Oh. Hmm. Got, got something in the doorway for like a second. Was that you that showed up? Did you move on? To somebody else? Can you turn that flashlight off, please? Thank you. Oh, got it. Got it. So you're the one we were talking to earlier. Can you turn that back on? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn it back off? Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn on the flashlight if there's only one of you here? Cool. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. Well, All right. Can you turn it back <laughs> off? Almost there. Turn it all the way off. Thank you. Do you see <laughs> that little ball that lights up over there? Can you, do you think you can? Yes. Oh. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you make. Is it rolling? Yeah. Do you think you can make that ball roll and light up? Just like you did, you can use. Yeah. It's no. Like no. No. You can you at least just make it light up again? You can use any equipment in here, any of our energy, to make the ball light up at least once more. Mm -hmm. Could you do that for us, please? No. No. Do you rather stick to the flashlight to make it easier for you to talk to us? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So in the last few clips that was shown, I just want to point out about how amazing all of that evidence was where Austin and Rachel were in the bathroom asking us questions. The fact that we had our envoy device, the flashlight and a cat ball all going off at relevant times of when we're asking a question. As soon as we set it down, Austin asks, do you see the cat ball? The envoy answers yes, and then the cat ball goes off. And then he asks, can you make it light up again? He says, no, cat ball doesn't go off at any point in the, in the night after that. And then he asks, would you rather communicate through flashlight? Flashlight turns on, and the envoy answers yes. After that interaction, didn't experience any activity the remainder of the night. 
Although, just prior to that, there was an answer to one of our questions that was unsettling. Did you come here with someone? One of the four of us? Go ahead and turn it off when you're ready for the next question. Who did you follow here? Uh, Matt. Did you follow Matt here? Did you follow Eric? Did you follow Austin? Did you follow Rachel? Oh no. <laughs> At the conclusion of our investigation, after we reviewed all evidence we obtained, combined with the witness accounts, we can confirm that there is something haunting the Stanwood Saloon. But upon answering one question, we gained another more unsettling question. Is there something following Rachel, only showing itself upon chosen times? Only time will tell.